this is one of the most frustrating problems where somehow the edge of the table has gone beyond the page. Yes, there are many ways of solving it, but the fastest, simplest and most effective way of solving and getting this border in is to go to layout, go to auto fit and say auto fit to window. Window means the page border in this case. The same option was available in the right click as well under same auto fit. That's it. Another common problem is this wastage of space. This column requires less space, this requires more space, this requires less space. Don't try to manually reorder, that takes time and it's trial and error. Word is in a much better position to do it if you simply tell him auto fit to contents. Simple. Another common problem is uneven row height. This cell contains two sentences or two paragraphs. Others contain one paragraph. Obviously, this is taller. Ideally, we would like to make all of them taller. Don't do anything manual. Just click anywhere inside the table. Do not select anything. Go to layout and click on this small little button. What does it do? Distribute rows. That means it finds the tallest row and makes all other rows equally tall. Now we still have a problem. This has two sentences or paragraphs, so it's fitting into the cell. These are single paragraphs, so it's going on the top. Ideally, we would like it to be vertically in the middle. In this case, select the table and click on this button. What does this do? Align center left. Center vertically and left horizontally. So one click will take care of this problem as well. Sometimes we have incorrect spacing. What does that mean? We have no gap between the cell border and the content. This can be very frustrating. So go to cell margins. Generally there will be a left and right margin, but in case it is not there, whatever remaining margin you see, you can put. This may require a little bit of trial and error, but you will get it. Now another common issue which I am just going to demonstrate in the same table is sometimes the same table cell breaks across pages. This is a normal occurrence, nothing to worry, but sometimes you don't like it. We want this to start from the next page. Most of us try to push it uh, forcibly by pressing enter key. Please do not do that because sooner or later it's going to create problems for you. So what do we do? In fact, there is a setting for a row which says, do you want to allow the row to break like this or you don't want to? Of course, I can change this setting for one row, but that's not a good idea because currently this row is breaking. Tomorrow when the table grows or when the document is edited, other rows can also break. So it's a good idea to select the table. Then go to table properties either by right clicking or from the menu. Then go to row and then say do not allow row to break across pages. Actually it's rows because you have selected the entire table. And now it will automatically take care of it. Because all rows are now affected, any row which tries to break will be automatically managed.